Hi, I'm Matt and I'm a downhill mountain biker. Uh, we ride for the sense of freedom, being out in the woods like this, you know, in all seasons it's just great being out outdoors. Uh, loads of exercise obviously, so you're staying fit and stuff like that. Definitely feel like we're, there's a sense of achievement um, when you like do a bigger jump or go fast around a trail or something like that. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's more of a sport of self-accomplishment instead of trying to, instead of working as a team to beat someone else, you're just trying to beat yourself and your own abilities and improve them. To an extent, riding with friends can push your own ability because you're trying to always keep up with how someone else is doing. So if someone else improves, you kind of, you want to keep up with that so you improve alongside them as well, which is good. So it means we're all kind of a similar ability level. Yeah, it can be a risky sport. I mean, um, if you don't, if you ride outside of your comfort zone, then yeah, you can crash and stuff like that. That's why you always gotta, you gotta push yourself, obviously, otherwise you'll never improve. And the crashes are just part of it. But uh, yeah, if, if you ride big stuff and you're not up for that or the weather's not good enough, yeah, you're gonna crash. All this stuff here has been built by the locals who come up um, on the weekends and stuff like that. Um, and they invest their time and a bit of money as well into the trails. It's a legal spot, so uh, all the trails like, are there and they're really good, they're, they're well maintained. We build some of them, but uh, obviously we want to ride as much as we can, so... I mean, when the weather's like this, yeah, we could probably come up and build because it doesn't really matter um, if we can't... because well, we wouldn't be able to ride anyway because it's so, <laughs> so wet. I try and ride in the weathers, but sometimes the weather can be absolutely shocking and uh, well, just like this really. Um, but you know, if you don't ride in the weather, you're in the UK, so it would, you wouldn't be riding at all. It's all in the head in this. Like anyone can pick up a bike and ride along a, a, a flat road, you know. But um, there's so much more. Like it's it's almost all mental than this because you're beating yourself. Uh, obviously, you got to learn the skills and stuff, but you only do that um, by pushing yourself again. Um, normally, when you crash. Uh, when you're trying to do a trick, you know what went wrong so you can improve on it. Um, so crashes, I don't think anyone sees them as a negative as such, unless obviously you injure yourself. If it's just a little crash when you're trying to do a trick, then it's like, oh well, you know, I know what to do now. Um, then you go and hopefully nail that trick next time. Uh, I started out on a pretty bad bike, um, going down a, a pretty bad trail, but I mean, no matter what level you're at, if you find a little thrill in it, then you just want to keep going and going. So if you just, just grab a bike and just get out there, even if it's like just a, a bridal way or something that isn't even like uh, bike orientated, it's still, if you enjoy that, then you, you gradually improve and then you get onto better stuff and big stuff, get a better bike, etc. So it's just, it's just going out and trying it really. Thank you everyone for showering me in mud.